And welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. Currently, the Reds are now in the month of May as they are 18 and 12 working on this 2028 season. We get offered a trade here by the Houston Astros. Force Whitley and Dylan Coleman for Felix Bautista. Obviously, we're not going to do that trade, even though Bautista has been really struggling. And I am considering moving Garrett Crochet to the closer role because Crochet has been so much better than Bautista as Bautista just gets hurt for a couple days, but it's fine. Um, I'm considering moving Crochet to that spot. I don't know. TJ Friedel out one to two weeks with an ACL sprain. And what that means is we're finally going to give a shot to the 20 year old in AAA, 76 overall, Lloyd Hutchinson. He is the number, I believe, sixth ranked prospect in all of baseball. There he is. He's a 5'9 switch hitter. He's kind of like TJ Friedel, if we're being honest, other than the fact that he's not just a lefty. Um, and we're going to let him play tonight. We're going to put Lloyd Hutchinson in the lineup and he will lead off tonight against the St. Louis Cardinals. The Reds come into this game with a record of 27 wins and 17 losses for the Cardinals. They are 24 and 20. Hutchinson will get the leadoff spot tonight. He'll be playing center field. Again, no Friedel means um, we will have Will Benson in the outfield. Bryce Harper's actually getting the night off tonight in terms of the field. He's going to be the DH. We will move Spencer Sear to left and Yandy Diaz to third. And basically... These one to two weeks for Lloyd Hutchinson are absolutely crucial. We need to find out if this guy's going to go back down to AAA for the rest of the year or he's going to be a starter this season. Because if he's a starter, then we're going to have to move some things around and maybe move on from Yandy Diaz. We will see what happens as he makes his first play in the outfield and Will Benson is going to put away Jordan Walker. So an out goes to every single Reds outfielder as Michael McGreevy gets the start tonight for St. Louis. 3.23 ERA, 4-4 four and four record over eight games pitched. And here he is, Lloyd Hutchinson has arrived! In his first at bat at the major league level, he has his first hit and he's got his first home run and it's a no doubter! Lloyd Hutchinson, 367 feet. Welcome to the Cincinnati Reds. My goodness, what a start. Lloyd Hutchinson immediately has made an impact here with the Major League squad as Ellie De La Cruz will strike out. But my goodness, you couldn't have asked for a better start to a career than just that. A leadoff home run by Lloyd Hutchinson as Bryce Harper hits one all the way to the warning track. As here is your Reds lineup, it goes Hutchinson, De La Cruz, Harper, Olsen, Benson, Steer, Diaz, Alvarez, and McLean in the nine. I mean, again, if Hutchinson can still show stuff like that in these one to two weeks, I'm not afraid to move on from a guy like Yandy Diaz, who's not having a bad year at all. But again, you're not going to make room for Yandy Diaz if it is in favor of a guy like Lloyd Hutchinson. So we'll just wait and see again. Hutchinson's still got a couple weeks to figure things out if he doesn't perform like we want him to. Again, he's off to a great start. But again, that's just one swing, so we'll need to see what happens. But Hutchinson was our first round pick in 2026. He was the 12th overall pick in that year's draft. And again, it looked like it looks like we hit on him, right? 76 overall regardless of what he ends up being in the next week or so again top 10 prospect in the game i think we did pretty well in picking him that season um as the cardinals have done a good job uh dealing with the damage so far against the reds it's still a one nothing game the only run being that hutchinson home run it that feels like a strike by nicoladolo right there to mason win but they call it a ball Ivan Herrera then will follow suit by flying out into right field to Will Benson. We've got one out, runner on first. Joshua Baez, the batter, hits one sharply right to Matt Olson, And Olsen puts down the tag as well. It'll be a double play to end the top of the third. Francisco Alvarez has really come into his own as a member of the Reds. Came into today batting 269. And really, there's no real weakness on this Reds lineup so far. I hate to say it, but if you had to point one out, it would be Matt McClain. The guy's batting 225. Lloyd Hutchinson's second AB is going to be a line out to the shortstop over in Mason Wynn. Ellie De La Cruz now smokes one back up the middle. Alvarez advances to second, first and second, and two outs for the Reds for Bryce Harper. Harper on a 3-2 hits one to center field. That ball is going to get down. Francisco Alvarez scores. Ellie De La Cruz to third. They are on the corners with two outs, and the Reds have taken a 2-0 lead. Can Matt Olsen do anything here? And he'll strike out on the high heat. Olsen came into today batting 303 
well in the race for the MVP in the National League. But again, going back to like the lineup as a whole, yeah, Matt McLean is struggling, but I don't envision myself ever getting rid of the guy. He's been here since the start of the franchise mode. Again, him, Steer, and Benson have been in the lineup every single day, and obviously Ellie De La Cruz too, but those guys have been in the lineup every single video basically we've made of this series, and I plan on keeping all four of those guys. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's tough. He's not hitting all that well right now. Spencer Steer's doing his job. And it really, you know, it's it's interesting because there's no real weak point of this lineup, which makes you beg the question, why are we only 10 games over? I know, again, that's kind of a crazy statement. Why are we only 10 games over? But it is interesting, right? Because, you know, you look at the way this team is hitting. Ellie De La Cruz batting 270. Harper at the 260 range. Matt Olson over 300. The, the thing is the pitching. The pitching hasn't been all that good this season. Even Jose Urquidy, who's been our ace year in and year out over the last couple seasons. ERA sitting at about four. Nick Lodolo is kind of struggling. Obviously, tonight he's not doing that as he's a pitch away or out away from going five shutout innings against the Cardinals. And that's exactly what he's going to have so far with that strikeout of Ramon Urias. Um, but it's been the pitching that has kind of hurt us. Hunter Green has been having a very good season, but guys like Brian Wu has kind of struggled. He's been mediocre. Mackenzie Gore, unfortunately, has struggled a lot as well. Um, again, lodolo has been all right, and Jose Arquiti has just been okay as well. If our pitching can really get going, I think we're going to be a whole lot better of a baseball team. The other thing is the bullpen. The bullpen's really not doing too well right now, as Ellie De La Cruz can hit one hard. Opposite field, left field, that ball. Oh my goodness, it's out of here. That one got out in a hurry for Ellie De La Cruz. He extends this Reds lead to three to nothing on the line drive shot in the left. It will be Ellie's 15th of the season. It goes 365 feet and the Cincinnati Reds take a three nothing lead thanks to Ellie De La Cruz's again 15th of the season for the former home run derby champion. Maybe we'll see him back in that spot again this year. I don't know. But if our pitching can really get going and especially our bullpen too, again, it hurts when you're closer and Felix Bautista has been struggling. Even the guys who've been around for a while, like Mason Miller isn't having the best of seasons either. Michael Kopech has been struggling too. Really the only dominant guy out of our bullpen right now is Garrett Crochet. And you know, the other guys like, even like DeAndre Wilder is struggling too. So we'll see what happens. But again, right now there's no signs of needing a bullpen here against this Cardinals team because six no-hit innings for Nick Lodolo. I haven't mentioned it till this point, and probably now that I mentioned it, the Cardinals are going to pick up a hit in the top of the seventh inning. But yes, six no-hit innings for Nick Lodolo is insane. And we did that in the last episode when we took on the Colorado Rockies up in Denver with Mackenzie Gore. He took a no-hitter into the eighth. We will see how deep Lodolo gets with his no-hit bid here tonight. Again, nothing's going to match that one game earlier on in the series where we traded for Max Scherzer at the deadline. He came in and immediately pitched a perfect game for the Reds but then he proceeded to get injured and miss the playoffs or come back for the playoffs and get injured right back away. Again, that was an interesting situation with Max Scherzer's short-lived tenure with the Cincinnati Reds, but don't look now, but Nick Lodolo is through seven no-hit innings here at home. The Reds have their run cushion. They're up by three. Obviously, we'd like to have a little bit more, but it's been a good start so far in this game. Matt McClain strikes out, and again, I know he's been struggling this season, batting 225, but again, the organization that we're running has loyalty, and we care about the players, so when you care about someone, you know, you try to stick it through with them, even through everything, which is a lesson, you know, maybe some other people need to learn sometimes, but we definitely cherish that here with Matt McClain and the Reds. That might be the first hit of the night. Ryan McMahon oh my goodness gets a blooper to go through Yandy Diaz with the jump throw and we couldn't make the throw to first that's a tough way to lose the no hit bid we're gonna bring in Mason Miller who again ERA of nine and yeah that's rough so Miller has been struggling a lot but he's gonna force weak contact out of Ramon Urias there is a fly out to Spencer Steer in left field two gone Mason win now the batter on the 1-1 one -one. hits one on the ground Matt McClain has it to first and that'll do it for the top of the eighth inning to the bottom half of the inning Ellie De La Cruz leading things off against Slade Sessioni. There is going to be a dribbler too short to Mason win. One gone for Bryce Harper, who's one for three. Bryce is now one for four. Harper just not having the same impact he's had in years past, but still again doing a very solid job for this team. He just hasn't caught fire just yet. Matt Olson gets on with the single, again, continuing his crazy season. Will Benson on the full count, pulls one deep right field. That ball's got carry. Olson was running on the pitch. That's out of here. Will Benson almost puts the nail in the coffin for the Reds. 5-0 Cincinnati. 
356 feet off the bat, his ninth of the season. Again, makes this one five to nothing. And we're playing a Cardinals team that again has one hit so far tonight. I don't think they're scoring five in an inning. Benson though gets on the board as Spencer Steer comes up and hits one hard in the air into center field. Steers are making good contact. The ball's just unfortunately dying out for him in the outfield. It's all right though. We go to the top of the ninth. Mason Miller gonna stay in the game now with this five run cushion. And Ivan Herrera blasts one in deep center field. Hutchinson giving chase, but Herrera is gonna have himself a lead off double against Miller right here. Runner on second for Joshua Baez in the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on that Miller slider. One down for JJ Glass, the leadoff man. Glass gonna fly out into center field. Hutchinson will call off Steer. That'll be the second out of the inning. Last hope for St. Louis will be Lars Newtbar. 2-2 pitch from Miller. Ball's in the ground, Matt Olson has it. And, oh, okay, just doesn't pick up the baseball. Runner on first and third, two gone. Jordan Walker, the batter, he hits one to shallow right field, and that ball is going to die out and get down. The Cardinals will not be shut out tonight. 5-1 is now our score. Time running the on-deck circle, but Mason Miller makes sure we don't even have to worry about it. He'll strike out Nolan Gorman on that pitch inside. Nick Lodolo's hairline is receding quick, but it's fine. The Reds win here at home. Lloyd Hutchinson homers and wins in his first game as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. And again, we will just have to see how things go with him for the next couple weeks in order to make our decision if we're gonna keep him around or not with the Major League squad. And again, if he stays, then that definitely means I think Yandy Diaz goes. Will Benson heads back to the DH role. And again, we'll figure it out from there. But again, we'll see. We have a huge couple weeks coming up here on this Reds franchise mode. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 85 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like. If you did enjoy the video, give a like for watching. And Mamba, forever.